of radio DJ and yeah. DJ money what an act boy it's hard to follow that one <laughs> yeah, it's hard, hard to follow place. man but um yeah we're back um but here bless their hearts bless their hearts bless their hearts DJ money DJ DA um <laughs> man we always coming here from West Palm Beach we represent Palm Beach County yes. and today um we got a, a studio full of young people yeah. Young uh, millionaires, young adults, uh, young millionaires, entrepreneurs, all kind of yeah. stuff going on, man. You know, and it's just so awesome to have our young people up in here. Um, all this money up in here, <laughs> boy, <laughs> trying to get to that millionaire lifestyle. Everybody, I think everybody in here wants to be a millionaire. Am I right? Yes, indeed. Yeah. I don't know what Tasia's doing over there. Tasia over there, she might have made it already. I guess she's checking her stocks. Her hey, you see her shirt say, "Um, no, <laughs> um, no." <laughs> This is going to be an awesome show. I just want to jump right in. Um, yeah. We're going to have a good hour. And I, uh, you know, when I first started the show, May of 2014, my very first show, Jay wasn't on board yet. I didn't have a co-host. It was just me. And um, I had summer youth co-host then, so right. I'm back to getting that going. And um, this is Which the second is an awesome program. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. We have youth come in to co-host with us for the right. entire summer. And um, before I introduce this young man, one of our youth summer co-hosts, hosts, who's um, nervous as I don't know what over there. <laughs> but um, I just want to, before I introduce him, just to say hello to Antonio. What's going on, Antonio? Hello. This millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Tony is scared. Do they call you Tony? Oh, uh, this Antonio. They call me Anto sometimes, and then they get my name wrong and call me Anthony. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Antonio. 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 We got Antonio Mitchell. He's 13 years old. Um, we also have his sister Ty. Hi. In the house. How's it going, Ty? It's going good. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, Welcome, saying, um, Dwight. You're a graduate of 2018. Ooh, Congratulations. Panthers. Now, I don't know, Taser's sitting over there like she just like, she just um, watching. <laughs> you getting on the mic today or what, man? You ain't, you ain't gonna do it. I'll look do at it. that. Look at that. Her shirt says, um, no. Um, Everything no, is all no. Um, no. <laughs> but we got Taze in the house. She's a 2018 graduate of Palm Beach Gardens High School, man. We have a 2014 graduate in here also. Yeah, we do. You know I was saving the best for last. <laughs> I was saving the best for last. No offense to other, the, any of the other young people in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. But man, this, this, this powerhouse. He just set the stage. Just here. set the stage they for did. him. They did. He's the leader of the pack, man. <laughs> Definitely got 2014 Dwight Your High graduate in the house. Mr. Gerald Hearns. How y'all doing? Panther Pride. Oh, oh, oh. Go Panthers. Go Panthers. And um, 
I just feel good because you guys know, most people that know me and listen to the show, you know the young people, our youth and our young adults are, like I have the biggest passion for them. And um, I call them my young millionaires, my babies. I really want to teach them more about finances, creating wealth, investing, and all of that kind of stuff. The importance of having life insurance, all that good stuff. They really need to know that. And the earlier that you learn that in life, the easier life will be. And it's sad to have a debt-free life so much younger. And um, Ty, I know you, um, Nana, as you call her, mm -hmm. told us that you were in a finance academy for seven years. Mm -hmm. I've been it since Duncan that he goes to now. And I just graduated from it. So I've been it for like seven years. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. It's a really good program. Yeah, man, we're, and I definitely want to talk about it before we get off the air. Um, we're just going to talk. All I want to do is talk with our young people and... Uh, business we already have, absolutely. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Man, you are... Uh, we got to talk. Yeah. That's awesome. We yeah. definitely got to talk. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're young and you're growing. Yeah, because yeah. 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 it's like you got 13 years old. You got... How old are you? 18. 18. He's 21. You wait. We getting ready to hear it. <laughs> 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 hey, we getting ready to get to the powerhouse. Prime time up in here. We getting ready to change the direction of things up in here. We got a different kind of young millionaire up in here. You know, I met this young man. Um, actually, Jay and I met him at the same time. We met the three of them. We went to this. Um, uh, it was a panel. Marion Dozier put this together in Riviera Beach. It was about young, three young years ago. It was a young entrepreneur yeah. panel. Um, we went, checked it out, and we ended up meeting three young people, Stefan Elias, um, Selena Kuhn, who's the CEO of Lena Blue TV. Stefan is actually the CEO of Innovative Health. Mm -hmm. And we met this young man that's in the studio with us right now. Mr. Daryl Hearns was there. He was 19 years old. And boy, I tell you, out of the three, all three of them got amazing things going on. But this young man right here has a totally different kind of grind, man. And um, he's 21 right now. But when I tell you, this brother behind me has done your growth since I yeah. met you. I cut the hair. I cut my hair off and everything. Oh, my. Yeah, you're right. You yeah, had I dreads I cut, I cut right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, cut my hair And off. Your, your, phys your physical, I mean, your body is just like no body fat. Your calves, you got killer calves. <laughs> but your, the, you know the part I love the most is the entrepreneurial side of you. Yes, most certainly. And you are like such a different kind of beast in your own league. And um, when I met you, like I said, out of the three, you impress me the most because it's like your adrenaline, the way you condition, the way you you handle business just like you condition. Yes. And I ain't even talking about playing football. Just the way that you are. I wish people if 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 you're listening to me to me right now, because I want I want people to see you in action. Go to Gerald Hearns on Facebook, H E A R N S. Scroll down his page. He has several videos of him working out. The way you work out is just amazing to me because you don't see a lot of young people working out like that. To yeah, the extent it's very you intense. So I'm going to shut my big mouth for a minute, <laughs> and I'm going to um, turn the mic over to none other than 21-year-old Gerald Hearns, CEO, is it GBH, Junior yeah, Enterprises, Enterprises Incorporated. Incorporated. Man, um, you are all over the place, all over the place. You travel, you, you, you're doing amazing traveling. You attend FAU right now, Florida Atlantic University in yes. Palm Beach County. You are run, uh, running back. Yes. You're heading into your senior year. And um, I'm going to turn the mic over to you. You talk to the listeners and just tell them who they're dealing with. All right. Well, first off, I want to say thank you guys for having me here today. And uh, most certainly just been a grind throughout the years, just starting at six years old as an entrepreneur. You know, a lot of people may ask, like, why I go so hard. Uh, one of the reasons I just have no fear of failure. You know, I, I see myself not failing in life. It's too many opportunities to fail. And um, each day I take that approach. I know what I'm working for. So even just starting at six years old, understanding that I started off selling lemonade, started off selling rubber band necklaces, and then got to middle school and high school, um, just waking up at 445 every morning, understanding, like, you know, if I want to be successful, I, successful, I got to know I got to be willing to put the grind in, the work in. Yes, sir. You know, what am I willing to do to separate myself from people who say they want to be great but not willing to really put that work in? And I think one of the biggest sacrifices was, like, sleep. Uh, I would average like four or five hours of sleep a night. And um, actually in high school, I used to take the bus. Well, I used to walk from home about 10 blocks all the way to Roosevelt Middle School to t on Tamarin. Uh, take the bus at 545 in the morning, carrying a huge duffel bag, probably like 50, 60 pounds. Have my school book bag um, and just going to school, you know, just hustling. 
And um, what people didn't know is even in that summer, whether it was raining, hot, whatever that it was, I was taking the city bus every day just, just determined to get the football practice at Dwyer. And um, my coaches, they helped uh, uh, develop me into a, a stronger athlete, understanding the basis on how to approach the game. And I think some of the things that we learn in football really help us in life, whether it's leadership, work ethic, sacrifice for others, command and respect. You know, a lot of these young guys, this generation, want to demand respect versus command it. And um, throughout the years, just getting involved in the community with Palm Beach School of Autism, uh, Student ACES, Leadership Organization. Uh, inner City Yeah, Innovators. Inner City Innovators with uh, Terry on and Ricky Aikman um, from Tamron Community and uh, the Sigma Beta Club in middle school, throughout high school. I think these are some of the things, Urban Youth Impact, yes. these are some of the things that help me continue to grow and just knowing that no matter how far I get in life, I always come back and serve others, you know? Well, you, you're something serious. You know, um, the football side... I don't know which side you're the strongest in because you're yeah, so strong yeah. on both I, I try sides. to have an equal balance. You do. Yeah, and you wear happy. suits everywhere. I, told, everywhere. I tell people you only wear two things. That's yeah. your football uniform and a suit. It's hard to convince me to not wear one. <laughs> yeah, and I love that you have that down pat already mm -hmm. because that's going to be so critical mm -hmm. in the future. I, I easily see you commentating sports, easily see you doing you. that because you speak so well and you're just so well-rounded, man. You know, I... I, I meet a lot of football players. I meet a lot of athletes, basketball players. I referee basketball, high school yeah. basketball. So I'm around athletes a lot. But um, I've come, I don't think I've met any like yeah. Daryl Hearns. Well, well, one of the personal shout-outs I like to give out is one of my fifth-grade teachers, uh, Ralph Davis. Mr. Yeah. Ralph Davis, he actually uh, taught the entire class how to play chess and just understanding the strategic methods on how to make a move, I think, help with life. But also for all of the males in the classroom, he was like, if you guys wear a suit, I mean, a, a dress tie every day at the end of the month, I give you guys five dollars. So, you know, when you're in fifth grade, you're like, oh, man, that's five dollars. I can get that from my mama or whatever. Right. You know, I took it in a different approach. So I went to the thrift store, bought 13 ties. And right now I probably got 100 plus of them. <laughs> and um, throughout middle school and high school, when people ask me, like, oh, well, why are you dressing up? You going to work? I say, no, nah, it's just how I carry myself. So. They say first impression is the best impression, where well, that first impression may be the last impression that you get to meet a person. You know, so I think that's something critical uh, as I continue to grow, network with people, and always follow up and just continue to be a successful business person. That's what's up, man. Uh, he intimidated me when he got in the truck, Billy. I, look, I'm the driver. Look, I, I, he's getting here looking better than me. I, I don't know, man. Millie told me, Jerry, it's all right. You know, just lay down, lay low, man. Yes. We, we wear slides and we wear T-shirts. You know, I'm behind the mic, Jerry. Nah, nah. I'm behind the mic, but I, Mr. Hearns get in my truck today. I, I, go to, I go to class in a full suit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you actually had an experience. Um, you went to something maybe a year or two ago with Oprah. Yeah, about? yeah, yeah. Um, I actually got affiliated with this through uh, FAMU. Right. Um, I highly appreciate their business program. Uh, one of the things I do take from that is, um, as she said, introducing yourself. A lot of people in interviews, my name is, oh, I am. You know, we greetings, I am. You know, you want to speak with that assertiveness. And uh, I got a chance to go to Georgia, uh, and we met with um, one of the gentlemen up there. I actually still communicate with him, Mr. Hampton. Um, they have something called uh, AEI, Allen Entrepreneur International uh, Institute, and they bring a bunch of young entrepreneurs up there. We work on business plans, work on finances. Uh, we also did a project where we went to an incubator, and we actually had to design um, a business function. Like, how if you, if you own this, what would you do? So they gave us a budget. So our budget was like $20 million. So wow. we came up with a master plan, and we executed my team, and we actually won. So uh, Oprah, Tyler Perry, uh, and some other guys were there actually filming Green Leaf that year. Exactly. So I yeah, remember yeah, yeah, that was I awesome. That. I remember that. I remember that. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's just among so many other things that you've done and so many um, what people consider big guns, Yes. you know, in the industry. To be 21 and yeah, yeah. experience that is just amazing to me. I'm only 35, and I haven't experienced it yet. Millie, stop playing. <laughs> stop playing. You, Jay, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Uh, Jay. Lee, Jay say yeah, all the time. Y'all can see the look on Jay's face right now. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Yeah, even, even with some of the stuff I'm doing right now, I'm um, writing my first book. It's called Built to Brick by Brick. Um, I've been like, writing mm -hmm. it for about two years now. And uh, I started off with that mindset, just that hunger, that grind. You know, the grind don't stop. And uh, while I was at FAMU, that's when I started with the Get Beefy Socks. Yeah, I wanted to compete yeah, I still, against I Nike. Some more, you know. I got some. I got some at the house for you. 
I got the brick by brick shirts too. I talked to you. And Joker, you should have brought me a brick by brick shirt. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna personally, yeah, I'm gonna I'm personally <laughs> deliver that one. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll personally deliver that one. Brick by brick. That one. So you see, you know, you got that one. It's that one. <laughs> they feel right. some kind of way. I got you. Three of them. Four of them. <laughs> Four of them. <laughs> look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, look. Tax right off. <laughs> Hey, I know about it. <laughs> I'm an escort. Um, so listen, let's let's talk about um, hurricane season. Yes. It's coming up. So I yep. definitely want you to touch base um, on that with what you got going on right now. Yes. From a business aspect. You know, you got listeners listening who own homes. Um, you you go ahead with that. I'm gonna let you Yes. Know. Uh first off I wanna uh give a thanks to uh, Mr. Richard Kurtz. He's the CEO. Um, of this company called Rice Impact Window and Door. Uh, I got a chance to meet him a few months ago, about two months ago, and just to get a chance to sit with him and understand his business uh, leads, you know, as far as how he handled business and him in real estate. So uh, as he approached me and explained this window business to me, he said, hey, you know, you're in college. You know, you're, you're a handsome young guy. You're a hard worker. I like how you carry yourself. I think this would be a great industry that you can build upon and grow. So, uh, you know, I sat down and I did some thinking to myself and I said, okay, what are the possibilities? What are the opportunities? Uh, what is the vision um, of myself growing within this company in the next seven months before I graduate? So uh, I accepted the opportunity and I can by far say I learned the business pretty fast. Um, the company is actually located um 8120 Belvedere Road, Unit 3, West Palm Beach, Florida, 33411. And it's called Rice Impact Window on Door. So some of the benefits of using our company is, first off, we use CGI and PGT windows and doors. Uh, we are very price competitive. Uh, we do have some different guarantees, such as lifetime guarantees. The windows are very beneficial as far as it helps prevent home invasions. Uh, it's just that strong. We actually uh, take it to a gun range and we test the, the strength of the windows. And um, by far, I can say that it actually slows the speed of a bullet down. It's not bulletproof, but it's that strong that it can slow the speed of a bullet down. Um, it actually helps. It's in energy efficient. It um, actually reduces the light bill. Um, it's a tax write-off if you use the PACE finance program. Mm -hmm. And PACE is actually convenient because sometimes people may not have thirty thousand, forty, fifty thousand dollars just sitting at home, you know. So if you go through that program, you can pay it through a month of like twenty years. Uh, also, it go on your property taxes. And I think we had one person; his project came up to like twenty five, thirty thousand dollars. He was only paying like twenty five dollars a month mm -hmm. on his property taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it increases the value of a home. You know, and uh, my personal number is five six one nine three two. 3903. The office number is 561-588-7353. And if anybody, you know, have any questions about the windows, they can always reach me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, Gerald Hearns. G so you're a salesman with them? Yes, I'm a salesman, yep. And okay. it's been a great experience so far. You know, if anybody got any further questions, they can always reach out to me and I could, you know, explain further in detail about what we do and how our installments go. Uh, we do not use any subcontractors. That's really huge. Good. Most con com companies use subcontractors. Mm -hmm. They come and do a half behind job and, you know, or don't clean up the people properties. We actually use 100% rights employees only. All right. And I think, like I said, it's the perfect time for hurricane season. Just started June yeah. 1st. Yep. And we'll go until um, November. Okay. So um, in Florida, we definitely need, that's a product that's yes. in demand. So um, if you're tuned in, if you're listening right now, and you hear this young man, he's 21 years old, wears all kind of hats. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I got about 80 of them at the house. <laughs> yeah. Hit him up, and um, I'm definitely going to help you promote this. Thank you. Um, you were telling me something that, uh, like a referral program or something yes, like that. Yes, yes. So for anybody that's listening, uh, we offer a referral program where if you refer any business to myself or the company, uh, we give you a 2% referral check, basically. So it's definitely something there for everybody, you know. So uh, that's a, you know. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Man. I like making money. So if, like if, if, you, if, if you, if you, if you want to <laughs> <you wanna> make <laughs> some money <laughs> and refer some business to us, uh, <laughs> definitely call myself, Gerald Hearns. My number again is 561-932-3903. And uh, you can text me or call me at any time. Uh, definitely, I will make time for you. Our job is to serve you. All right, all right. That's awesome, man. 
Um, it's something else I wanted you to touch on. Oh, so you're going into your senior year. It's yes. It's going to be the last year. Um, definitely, you have a goal of going to the NFL? Yes. That's uh, once this season is um, ended, uh, Lawrence willing, I will be preparing for the 2019 NFL Draft. Uh, I'm we'll looking. Be there, right? you better yes, most certainly. Even what? this year, when they, when keep the season starts. Yeah, brick yeah, by yeah, brick. Yeah, brick by brick. <laughs> and I actually got I got my brick by brick website on the way, uh, coming soon right now. So once that's up and running, I'll let you know. Um, but any, even, any teams in mind that you'd like to play for? Uh, I do like the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I, I'm not really like a, a favorite type of team person. More so like players that I look at, watch their game, see how ways I can elevate my game and just continue to be a better person. Um, but, yeah, any any team would be a blessing, honestly. Any team, if they were to pick me up, they'll have a leader for sure. Uh, definitely a guy that's willing to come in, understand. Uh, I, I take pride in my game. I take pride in approaching the game as a pro. You know, most guys, they get there. You know, they worked that whole opportunity their entire life, and then they blew it. You know, don't manage their money in the strip clubs, want to pop bottles, or, you know, spending thousands of dollars just wasting money. You know, the activity. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually there trying to, like, take that money and invest it in business. You know, so that's how I see it. And, and you know what? This young man is just like this. You're not going to see him clubbing and doing all that kind of stuff. Gerald is, like, so focused. It's, it's um, you, you. And you you're going to the NFL Thank because you. it's like and you're gonna you're gonna be a multi million dollar business owner. It's yeah, like yeah. it's just so in you. I see it. Thank I you. saw it from day one when I met you. So you know, it's just such an honor yeah, to sure. have as you a, on my I show. Feel, as a yeah. black male, yeah. I, I'm I'm proud. Thank you. Right to be sitting in the room with you. You, you have my full attention. Much appreciated. I'm, I'm catching every word that you're saying, man. Yes. Um, and and I, I say this in the lightest way. You would dishonor yourself if you didn't bring this back to our communities. I would, and I think about there, it all there the time. are so many young black males who need what you're portraying right now, yes, right? Yes. And, and 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 man, bro, I'm blown away. No, I wish I had it. Yeah. I wish I had. You know, I have it now. Probably not even to the extent that you have it. You know, I'm 42 right. years old, and I yeah. ain't got. But I have some of it. That I need to sit down and let you be my mentor. I you know, I mean, <laughs> you, I mean, man, you on no, fire. I'm glad I'm actually on the fire. Show. And, yeah. and uh, like I said, man, if you don't turn around and come back to your community, you'll dishonor yourself, man. Yeah. Because there are young black males in our community that need exactly what you exemplify. Yeah. And he, he, when I tell you, 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 he's, he's you. mentoring you. our yeah. young people at 21. He's yeah. training physically, conditioning our young people at 21. Yeah. And I got a workout you, session coming yeah, up. Yeah, that's going to be another question really? of yeah, mine yeah. to um, ta um, tap on the training part that mm -hmm. you do. Because I, I posted on my social media. Maybe interested and maybe needs. Yeah. Yeah, Put that information out there, too. Okay, yeah. Uh, usually um, what I do is post on my Facebook or Instagram. I'm actually going to also uh, add a Twitter uh, eventually. Um, but usually try to put up a post and say, hey, I'm training at Dyer Park or Coleman Park or running on the beach sand or running the bridge or whatever that I do. I'm, you may catch me anywhere. I may be in Orlando training somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but definitely um, one of my goals uh, that I will um, achieve is um, either planning, like, doing something like uh, football camps and something like that and actually have, like, the rights to impact window business or whatever other entities, brick by brick, different sponsors um, out there to just come back and support the community. Um, eventually, uh, I'm looking to, like, get into real estate. And I think uh, I do a good service to the community by just teaching the young people, you know, instead of standing on the block selling drugs for t five and 10, 15, 20 years, or even just upcoming business owners, why not take that money, invest in like one or two duplexes, apartments, and let that get, uh, let that build up for about five years, sell it or buy bigger homes, you know, residual income is the mission, you know. That's right. yeah. What can you tell um, a 13 year old young man like Antonio? What would you tell him as far as like, um, entrepreneurship and any kind of mentoring or any advice you could give him right now mm -hmm. uh, I, like to tell him? I, I definitely want to say first off you want to present yourself very well um, no matter where you're from your background what you've been through I think by far as how you carry yourself is going to speak a lot uh, also you want to you want to be humble but you also still want to come with that that assertiveness that that passion that you love it you know when you wake up you know it may be times where you you ask yourself like is it worth doing but at the end of the day, you want to come with that mindset like, you know what you're working for. And people going to question like, damn, why are you going so hard? Well, success is not an option. I mean, failure is not an option. You know, and that's how you got to look at it. So I think if you just keep that mindset, you know, you never want to get too high. You never want to get too low. You kind of want to be in the median. So never be too arrogant. Never feel like you're on top of the world or the world going to humble you. You know, so that's I think right. that's something big that you should definitely stay in, keep in your head. Antonio, you have any questions for him or Ty? You got a question for Gerald? I'm just inspired. 
Thank you. Like, I'm just sitting here, let's push because Dwyer alumni now. I yeah. can speak like, wow, like our school really had great lists. I think football, mm -hmm. and they have, you know, achievements that we can like both have. Like, I just, I'm inspired right now. Thank you. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That's awesome. And as far as the half black community. Um, yeah. I don't have any questions either as a future Dwyer okay. graduate. I <laughs> yeah. just, um, <laughs> this Panther's right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, just, these are just words, like, great advice, like, especially for children my age in yeah. our area. This is just great advice that I will absorb and just take with the future to me. So thank you. Yeah, so you can get my that. number. Y'all can always reach out to me. I'm yeah. definitely no, not a stranger. We're going to have a whole photo shoot after this. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not a stranger. Hey, you better catch him now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, so, right? I met him <laughs> on his way up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I met this dude on yeah. his way up. You know what? Let me have Hey. Yeah, man. He like, D.A., I'm going to get your picture so yeah. you can't yeah. see you ain't know me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm no stranger. I'm no stranger. <laughs> All right, man, we getting ready to wrap this thing up. I, you know, I, I wanted to give our young people the most much of the hour that I could. I really look forward to this show today because I knew who was going to be here between this brother and sister over here and this young man. Um, I couldn't get Taser on the mic, but whenever I have, whenever I got young people around me, that's that's like I feel like a mama. You know what I mean? And I don't have any kids biologically, so I love on my young people so much, and you guys love back on me, and I just really appreciate it. So, Gerald is actually one of my young millionaires, and um, young millionaires in progress. We're getting ready to do the photo shoot. I've chosen six of them, okay. like really powerhouses, and uh, between the ages of 18 and 30, and. Um, Y'all ain't seen, man, the ones that I have are like, oof. You know, sometimes <laughs> I'm like, man, God, you, you gave this to me. You just threw this in my lap, you know. So I really want to promote you guys okay, and do whatever I could do to help build your businesses, your brand, your names. You know, let's do some things, some seminars, and teach some young people about some stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Right here. Yeah, yeah we want to organize all this stuff. And I, I think you know? something that would be good, because, like, even with myself, understanding, like, the financials and uh, also having the experience of working with Merrill Lynch and um, just gaining that knowledge overall. I think it'd be great where if we do some seminars, she's speaking on the finance side. I'm speaking on how to manage the business, how to manage a corporation, right. how to set up stuff as tax purposes or how to register your business with some biz. Right. You know, I think yeah. those are Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't, oh, man. That what was that young man's on. name at the youth summit that was talking about all of that, the some biz stuff? Devin, um, it was, I cannot I remember his name. Inspire yeah. Youth is yeah. his yeah. Uh, brand. It's, it's, how to do an EIN number. Yeah, you know, yeah. Stuff. That's the stuff that yeah, needs to be talked Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm all in for that. I definitely we the locations I have yeah. them. Okay. Um everything is set. I'm just ready to get the right team of young people together and do a business conference that's nothing but young entrepreneurs. I don't even want the old heads there. The okay. vendors I want to okay. be young entrepreneurs. So okay. we're getting ready to organize that kind of seminar. In West Palm Beach. Okay, just give us the number. We've been there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give it to Nana. Don't give it to Nana. Sandra, you heard that. They're getting on your head. We're being petty. We're really missing you. We celebrate you, Millie, because of what you're doing, man. You, you're doing some great things in the community. Thank you. Hats off to you. Can't tell you thank you enough. Thank Not you. only for what you thank do you. in the community for the young people, how you open your arms, you know, and how you welcome, you know, everybody to come in and do something great yes. with, with your time. This right. is your time. Right. You, you can be stingy, yeah. right? You, yeah. Hey, ain't nobody getting in on my hour. Right. You know, right. but it, it, it's what you do, Millie, and mm -hmm. it's going to come back to you a hundredfold, yeah. right? You, you plant great seeds, right. and your harvest is going to be plentiful. So celebrate you, man. Hats yeah, off to you. Thank Love you, girl. Thank you. Thank you're doing thank big you. things. Yeah. Look, thank in the community, y'all see Millie. Holler at her. Give her some love. Tell her, thank. hey, yeah. th th she, she one of a kind. Well, two of a kind, because she got Jay here. Ain't no, ain't nobody doing what these two doing. Bad and bougie. You know, I'm just saying. Bad and bougie. Hey, if you keep I'm looking bad. at me like that, Jay, hey. I'm good. Hey, hey. hey, you keep hey. Me she about to bring out that bougie attitude. Right? <laughs> you better speak on that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody doing what they doing. You heard it. Ain't nobody doing what they doing.